Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network uh, market update. We're looking at the Dow. Oops, I got the wrong thing up here. I got the Dow trading down. No, it's unchanged. It's been all over the show. Oh, it's up a dollar twenty-five. Good. This doji candle that we see right now, day is young. Anything can happen. What you really want to see is by tomorrow's close, after the Fed speak, not a plunge below the 32,500 level. We're at 33,048 right now. But instead, a close above 33,170s into the 33,200s. Uh, That'll be really nice for at least a, a pretty good counter trend rally that takes us back towards the, well, close to the 34,000s, and then we'll test, uh, we'll see what the strength is. In the meantime, back at the ranch, the S&P is trading uh, up six at uh, 41.62, and this also needs to get quite a bit higher. The high today is 77. It needs to get to the 41.80, or higher level. We're looking at the QQQ, and there was strength yesterday in the Qs, not so much today, down $1.35, the 317.06, because the semiconductors, I didn't do that during my show, the target conditions are meant to, went right to the 14 period moving average of 238, it's trading at 235 right now. But they did show some strength yesterday. You want to see that strength carry through into tomorrow. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, it's just kind of stuck here, 186. But what's really interesting is gold is trying to establish some kind of a tradable bottom, uh, having gone below the 200 period moving average. That was my target of 1886. It went down to a low of today of 1849, straightening in 1876. Good move from the low today. It needs to get get rid of this red candle by making a nice green candle above 1905 in the next uh, day or two. Otherwise, it's just stuck in this range. Looking at crude oil, stuck in a range as well, uh, trading down a dollar at 104. Uh, it's just it's holding well in this higher level, but it hasn't yet broken out. Again, the TLT is really important because the TLT is down. Um, in the lows, it's at 118.84. It is up at $1.66. But while it needs to get to the 123.50 level in the next couple of days, maybe the Fed spurs that on. Who knows? But, you know, bonds, yields have done the work for the Fed a lot up until now. So we'll see what the Fed does. In the meantime, back at the ranch, um, I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pesavento. Should be a wonderful show as always with Larry. You've got a great program. And Larry Pesavento, you trade what you see. Then you've got Think or Swim Options program. You've got Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with Tom O'Brien for an interview this afternoon. Um, have a wonderful day. And check out both people.